I like it. I dig it. What do y'all think? Alright, so here's the packaging for the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition mouse. Yeah, so let's take a look. As you can see on the sides, there's some descriptions about the mouse, what it has to offer, and who it is built for. The specific model is built for esports, which is competitive gaming like Call of Duty, for example. And here are some samples of the customizable lighting you can choose from. But um, let's get this open and see what's inside. Alright, so here there are more details about the customizable lighting. Apparently, there's 16.8 million options to choose from, which is pretty awesome. And the mouse itself. Hmm. Let's see what's on the back. Here are some highlights. As you can see, it has a 2.1 meter 7 foot lightweight braided fiber cable, a tilt click scroll wheel, which we'll check out in a bit, Razer Synapse enabled, Chroma customizable lighting, and ergonomic right handed design with textured rubber side grips. And below it, you get more specifications. And my favorite part, it is Mac compatible. Why is that my favorite part? Well, I have a Mac. And I have a very basic setup. I usually just do casual gaming. So why did I choose a mouse that's designed for esports? Why not? I wanted to give it a shot. Here are some more specifications. You get the idea. Let's get to the unpacking. Okay, so I already took off the tape. Now let's take out the mouse. Alright, so here's the cord. I'm gonna put it on the side for now. And now uh, just to pull out the mouse and everything in here. Okay. Maneuvering, holding the camera, this is not working now. Hold on. Sorry about that. Anyways, this is the cable. Looks pretty durable. Reminds me of a bungee cord. And here is the mouse. Let's get this plastic off and get a better look. Yes. Looks really nice. Just get a look around. Uh-huh. Just place this down. The package also comes with some razor stickers and a small manual. And now to plug this baby in. Come on. Alright. Ooh. I like it. I dig it. What do y'all think? There is also software you need to download in order to customize the mouse when it comes to lighting and button assignments. So let's get to that. To download the Razer Synapse software, you need to visit razorzone.com slash synapse. And here you'll have two options. One is for Microsoft Windows and the other is for Mac OS X. Since I am on a Mac, that's the one I'm going to choose. Once you click on that, the download should start. Then you'll be greeted with another page. Here you'll be able to create your Razer ID. This will allow you to store your configurations in the Synapse Cloud, log into their other software services like Razer Comms, Razer Game Booster, etc. But for more information on that, visit their site. Since I don't have an ID yet, I'm going to start from scratch. I need to fill this out, but I'll fast forward to the next section. Once you finish signing up and the download is finished, locate the Synapse download and open it up. Then you will see this icon. Go ahead and click on it. Follow the setup instructions and install the software. To complete the installation, you will need to restart your computer. After your computer restarts, the Razer Synapse software should finish installing and will ask you to sign into your Razer account. After verification, the program should recognize any Razer products that are connected to your computer and will sync them up so the customizable experience can begin. This is what the page will look like. You will have a profile select menu on the left and your Razer product on the right. In this case, I have the Razer Mamba TE. As you can see here, it displays the various buttons you can change, but we'll get to that in a bit. You will be able to create multiple profiles to save your custom settings. So here's a demonstration. I'll use my username no landing. And then you click on the plus sign.
there you go it is now listed you can switch between profiles at any time for now I'll use my no landing profile now we are good to go let's get to the customizing as you can see the buttons are numbered so you can know where each one is at let's check out button 2 right now right click is assigned to button 2 but you can change the function to any of the options on this list I like my right click where it currently is so I'm not going to mess with this you can also change the scroll click and I like that you're able to scroll left and right on the mouse as well. I'm going to leave it as is. There are also some extra buttons on the side of the mouse that you can assign functions to, which I think is really cool. In the performance section, you are able to mess with the sensitivity of the mouse as well as acceleration and polling rate. Now for what stands out about this mouse. In the lighting menu, you are able to customize the lighting of the mouse when it comes to color, brightness, and effect. Right now it is set to wave, so let's check that out. As a result, the mouse changes colors in a wave motion. There is lighting on the wheel, sides of the mouse, and the logo. How about when I change it to the breathing effect? Hmm, let's see how that looks. The color is static for a couple of seconds and eventually dies out. The pattern repeats. What else is there? Hmm, what is reactive about? Let's see. There does not appear to be any lighting. Oh, but wait. When you click the mouse, it lights up. Nice. I think I might use this effect. But let's see what else there is. Let's give Spectrum Cycling a try. Hmm. This is a nice effect. The mouse changes color slowly, but it's very effective. We are nearing the end of effect styles. Here we have the static effect. This is a great effect if you want a certain color to stay on at all times. If you get tired of having lights on the mouse or don't care much about the lighting, you can simply turn it off. Ooh. Now, I haven't really touched on how to change the color of the lighting, so let me get to that. I'll choose the static effect for this demonstration. To change the color, click on this arrow. This will then pull up the color menu. From here, you can choose any color in this circle. There are also other ways to choose colors like presets in the above toolbar. But for now, I'm going to use this. I'm looking for a good purple because that is my color. Once you choose a color, Watch your mouse magically change to that color. This looks more like a pink. So to fix this, I'm going to mess with the brightness. To do that, go to this bar. I'm going to dim this all the way. Yeah, see that looks a lot better. Or if I want a hotter pink, I just need to brighten the light more. You can brighten the color to your liking. There's also the option for your mouse lighting to shut off when your computer display is off, but that's up to you. The last tab we have is for calibration. This is if you have multiple Razer devices, I'm assuming. I can't demonstrate since I only have this mouse. Razer sells various gaming mice, keyboards, pads, and etc. Visit their site for more information. I'll provide the link in the description below. Well, this will about do it for me. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like, comment with your thoughts below, Maybe give some suggestions on future videos you may want to see. And subscribe for more videos. This is No Landing. Thanks for watching.